Welcome back to the Oakland Athletics franchise as today we'll be taking on the Seattle Mariners here at home. We'd be wearing our throwback uniforms, throwing back to the 1970s as Jorge Lopez was on the hill for us. And we'd be taking on the Mariners who agreed to wear their throwback uniforms as well. Lopez comes into the starting rotation today after an injury to Rick Porcello. He's only going to be out for a day or two, but it does give time for both Jorge Lopez and AJ Puck to get into the rotation as he sits down Robinson Cano on that outside changeup. And the 0-2 pitch to Manny Machado, he sits him down as well. A nasty pitch right there from Lopez. Later in the ballgame, here's the 0-2 pitch from Jorge, and he gets the batter to go around on strikes. Mitch Hanniger goes sit down, and then the 0-2 to Mike Zanino. It's again another strikeout on fire here in the start of the game. And then the 0-2 to Jordan Patterson, he strikes out as well, the rookie who actually plays who actually was selected in the Rule 5 draft by Seattle. On the hill for the Mariners will be Chris Bassett making his 11th appearance of the 2019 season with a 6 and 2-2 with a 6.22 ERA. Matt Olson gets his first hit of the afternoon here in the bottom of the third as he breaks up the no-no from Bassett with a double into the corner. Fielding it cleanly and getting in quickly would be Ben Gamble, but not quickly enough as Olson's at second. And then the 1-2 pitch to Sean Murphy. Bassett comes set. Here's the delivery to the rookie. He's getting a weak ground ball. But Olsen somehow goes to third and he is out. Not even close. Machado, a heads up play right there. The one two pitch to the catcher, JT Romito. He's going to rip one into the gap. This one's going to be caught by Ben Gamble. Oh, what a catch right there into open space. And having to get back to first would be Murphy. One two pitch to Jorge Mateo. He goes down on the high slider and the inning is over. Mariners are out of trouble. The 0 1 pitch to Robinson Cano from Lopez. He'll break up the no no, will he? No, he won't. Jorge Mateo throws him out, and that's a beautiful play. A Sports Center top 10 nominee. Then Jorge Polanco ripping this one into the corner. That one would get down. Getting the day off today would actually be Matt Duffy, so they would put Polanco at second, Mateo at short, and then Lazaro Armenteros in center field. First pitch to Evan Longoria. He takes it for a ball, and swiping second would be Polanco. So now they have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. The 1-1 pitch to 11, Longoria is going to rip a little fly ball into right field. It's caught by the right fielder, Jordan Patterson, the throw to second. The relay is not in time. He's safe. Robinson Cano couldn't get it there quick enough. Uh, first pitch to Crush. Davis ripping this one down the line. This one's easily fair. And that would score Polanco rounding first inning to second. For an RBI double would be Chris Davis. And the A's are up 1-0 early. Then, trying to keep the offense going, that brings up Steven Piscotti. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, he's going to let the deep fly ball take left field. This one's no doubt about it. Touch them all, Steven Piscotti. And the A's go up 3-0, to zero, his ninth home run of the season. And Bassett was completely rattled after this one. The beautiful fly ball there from Steven Piscotti, taking what they could give him. As this one was not even close, way out of here. And Oakland goes up 3-0. to zero. The Bay Area is pumped up here. On a beautiful Wednesday afternoon as we were ready for some baseball wearing the throwbacks. And we were throwing it back to when the Athletics last won a World Series. And the 1-2 pitch from Jorge Lopez gets Mitch and a girl going down looking. The left fielder goes sits down. Then the 0-2 to Mike Zanino again. He sits down. He's had a cold streak as of late. Hitting just 200 this year. First pitch to Sean Murphy. He's going to rip this one. And it gets down fair. Fair ball down the corner. He's going to head to second with a double. A beautiful afternoon so far for Murphy as he's safe at second with two bases. Then with the runner on second and nobody out. Here's the first pitch to JT Romuto. He's going to hit a hard ground ball at the middle. They're going to wave around Murphy. Here's the throw home from Gamble. Hits offline and that's going to score Murphy easily. Romuto will advance to second on the throw home. And now we're going to have a runner on second. Yo, two pitches, a swing and a miss from Mateo. The throw's offline from Zanino. And Romito steals third. Not exactly the fastest guy on the team, but he can steal if he needs to. Polanco's going to lift one into deep right field. Is it deep enough? The throw home from Patterson is offline as well. It's now 5-0. to The Athletics taking a huge lead in this one. Beautiful baseball and beautiful small ball from the A's so far. The 2-2 two -two to Gamble. He sits down on strikes. A nice, nice off-speed pitch there from Jorge Lopez. Coming into the game would be Hisha Shi. I'm not even going to try to say that name. But he comes in here in the bottom of the six. Here's the payoff pitch to Chris Davis. He makes a mistake. And Davis drives it deep. Left. 
field. This one's out of here. Goodbye, home run. It's now six to nothing. Athletics. You cannot leave something over the plate when you have a full count on Chris Davis. That's just not what you can do. As he says goodbye, baseball. Only to lead of the sign lights up, and the Athletics take a six to nothing lead. As they were dominating the Mariners here in this first game of baseball. What a ball game this was. What a great start from Jorge Lopez. And what a great piece of hitting that the Athletics had in this first game. As we look at this home run one more time. From Crush Davis just leaves a, play, a pitch right over the middle of the plate. And Davis takes advantage of it. Saw almost the exact same play last night in the Rockies-Reds game. As they left the pitch right over the middle. And Ian Desmond rips it for a home run. Almost in the exact same spot. But a great American ballpark. The bottom of the six, here's the first pitch to Steven Scotty. He rips one of the very next at bat into the gap, and he's going to round first, heading to second. Back to back rips for the Athletics. First one's a home run, second one's a double. But Scotty trying to try his luck, but he goes back to second. Man on second with one out. Here's the first pitch to Matt Olson. He's going to rip one into the gap. This one would fall. That's an easy run. But Scotty would come around to score. And just like that, the A's take a 7-0 lead. Bottom of the ninth, the 1-2 from Rand, or from Nate Jones from the former White Sox. Two, it looked like that was actually Mitch Hanniger. And the ball game is over. That was Ryan Healy, sorry. But the game is over as the Athletics win this one by a final score of 7-0. A.J. Hinch giving Jorge Lopez the nod. And he did a beautiful job there. Going a total of seven innings and then going to his, and then giving it to his bullpen as Nate Jones shut the door. 7-0 as the Athletics win. We obviously didn't let Liam Hendricks pitch just to save his arm in case tomorrow night we had to have a close game. Lopez's record's not 4-4 in four four the year as he went seven innings, three hits, no earned runs, and eight strikeouts. Davis went 2-4 for four with a home run, a double, and two RBIs. In the same stat, in the same stat line for Piscotti, Olsen went 2-4 for four with a double and an RBI. The Bay Area was pumping here on an afternoon on Thursday. A little looked like a little workman's classic here as the 31-21 Oakland Athletics lead the AL West as they come into play. A team that's been very cold as of late, the Seattle Mariners, as they've actually dropped to I think in the middle of the AL West when they were second before. AJ Puck was on the hill for the A's in this one, came out of the bullpen today. And actually started, as you can see, getting a run. No, he's thrown out at home. Almost a run there in the bottom of the first. But Kyle Seager hits a solo shot in the top of the second to give the Mariners a, a one to nothing lead. As you can see, getting into a little bit of trouble here in the top bottom of the second is James Paxton. Jorge Mateo's up here with the 0-2 pitch. Jorge Mateo goes down on strikes the low cutter. What a beautiful call from Carlos Santana, and Paxton gets out of trouble. A little later in the game, A.J. Puck walks a man but strikes out two and then gets a ground out. Matt Duffy was back in the lineup today, so we had a better part of the lineup in the game this afternoon. Duffy's played really good baseball this year. As you can see, again, a little bit of trouble here. Two men on, nobody out. The other one pitch to Matt Olson from James Paxton. It's going to rip a little ball. This one's going to get down into the gap. He puts his hands on his head because he knows this one is trouble. One run will score. They're going to send another one. The relay throw home is offline. And then advancing to third would be Olsen. A two RBI double right there. And the A's take a two to one lead here in the bottom of the third. In the bottom of the fourth, sorry. Then the very next batter is JT Romito. He grounds that to the shortstop Machado, but easily scoring from third would be Olsen. It's now three to one as the Athletics take a commanding lead. What an RBI there from JT Romito. Way to do your job, JT. AJ Puck is still on the hill, hill here in the top of the fifth. Just getting everybody out. One, two, three inning right there. Then a 1-2-3 inning from Paxton. Puck walks Segura. He then gets caught stealing an ice arm there from Romuto. And he gets the next two guys out. Then the, would make a pitching change here in the bottom of the sixth. Would the, would the Mariners do? As we would actually see Romuto fly out. And then Mateo ground out. Puck here in the top of the seventh. Getting a little bit tired. But he still gets a 1-2-3 inning. Juan Niasico gets a single from Duffy. Then Longoria strikes out and Chris Davis. It's a two-run shot. It's now five to one athletics. So they have a lot of insurance here. And they can basically just keep have just have Puck keep going as he doesn't really have much to lose. Gives up a run here in the top of the eighth and then gets the next two batters out. Five two as they make another pitching change to Dan Altavilla. Puck is actually relieved here in the top of the ninth for Liam Hendricks, our closer. As we see him here on the 0-1 pitch to Robin Sicka. No, here it comes. 
It's going to be a deep fly ball, but this one's not going to carry. Going back and making the catch will be Piscotti. And the Athletics win by a final score of 5-2 to two here on a beautiful afternoon game. A.J. Hinch gets yet another win with his Athletics Club as they are still in first place ahead of the Astros in the AL West. It would be interesting to see as the Astros are actually first in the wild card right now. And it would be interesting to see come playoff time who actually makes the wild card as we honestly could see the Astros and the Red Sox. That's what's probably going to happen. They also have the Twins and the Blue Jays very close behind those teams as AJ Puck has a beautiful start. He may have a spot in the starting rotation deciding on what we really think of who's going to be the better starter long term. Puck may be the starter that we see come playoff time as we get the win by a final score of 5-2 as we defeat Seattle. And Liam Hendricks gets his 15th save of the season as we win 5-2. Puck went 8 innings, giving up 4 hits, 2 earned runs, and 8 Ks. Davis went 2-3 for three with a home run, a double, and 2 RBIs. And Matt Olson went 1-4. for four. Then we go to our prospect profile for today. It's Renato Nunez of the AA Midland Rockhounds. He's currently still a prospect in our organization. He's one of the best prospects in our organization as he hits a hard ground ball down the line right there, but is thrown out at first. We look at his little player card right here. He's currently a first baseman for the AA Midland Rock Counts. He's a right-handed batter and thrower. He's at 6'1", 220 pounds, and he was signed as an undrafted free agent in the 2010 season. He's a very good first baseman, and I think that he could have a lot of potential, maybe at that DH position, if maybe Sean Murphy or Edwin Encarnacion, maybe, I mean, Edwin Encarnacion could retire anytime soon because he is getting kind of old. So you may see Nunez get called up maybe then, because he is 36 right now. And, I don't know, Sean Murphy may not have such a great season next year. We don't really know. He's kind of been that guy that randomly just sparked. And he's played really good baseball this year. So you can see on here, kind of a bad throw from the, or not actually, wrong clip. But a nice catch right there from Nunez. That is that bat here in the top of the sixth. The Rockhounds are up 3-2 against the Arkansas Travelers. The 0-1 pitch from the pitcher. And Nunez rips one. Deep left field. Does a little bat flip to celebrate. And this one is gone. He currently leads the Texas League in RBIs this season, and I believe a second in home runs. Obviously a very good statistic right there for him. And a guy that I think will be really good. Yeah, he actually is first in home runs with 17 killing the competition. The next closest guy is only 13. He obviously is one of the best players in all of the Texas League. Obviously he's sixth in batting average, and he's a very good player with a lot of upside. As you can see, just killing this ball left over the plate. I would say his biggest issue right now is his plate discipline and his plate vision. He usually swings at that first pitch, which isn't really something that we like to see. We like to see guys who wait in the count and take a lot of pitches. The 1-2 pitch and kind of a crappy throw from the third baseman. This is a clip I wanted to see. Scoops it out of the dirt. He currently has a 294 average with 15 home runs and 54 RBIs. He has high power versus lefties, bad plate discipline, and bad plate vision. And he has a two. My prediction for him is a 250 average with 70 RBIs and maybe 22 home runs. A good comparison would be Tommy Joseph of the LA Angels. I think he's definitely a guy that I see a lot of loop of um, Nunez in. If you guys enjoyed the Oakland Athletics franchise, please drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. The next video will be the Titans franchise on Friday. Thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe.